Hey, what is going on, video game owners? My name is Vivaldi a second, back again for another Skylanders Giants episode. In the last episode, we went to Molkin Mountain and um, tried to find some more information about the Oracle. And now, we are going to go visit him. So, first, before we head there, I'm going to switch to our new Skylander. Introducing... Hot Dog. I also have Molten Hot Dog. Um, Molten Hot Dog has the top path, so he has the bottom path. And he has the bone in his mouth, although it will change in Swap Force and beyond because of his Series 2 version. But yeah, there's like dogs in his wall of fire. But anyways, let's get heading. Yes. Yes, I am. <coughs> I am rather excited about this episode. Whoa. Alright. Try and see if I can fix the microphone. Okay, here it is. He actually says your name. Well, you see, Callie, when you ride with the best, handsomest, most heroic, charming lady, and yes, even humble pilot in all Skylands, people tend to know you. I know everyone and everything. I am the Oracle of Skylands. Or that works too. I also know what has brought you here. You seek entrance into the Archean lost city of Arcus. I can grant you this wish, provided. Oh, here we go with the clouds up again. <laughs> the this Skylander can pass a series of trials. They are for my research. Your life forms are truly fascinating to me, and I wish to study the choices you make. But if you're all knowing, don't you already know how someone would respond to these trials? While it is true that I can see into the past, and to some degree, the present, I cannot see into the future. At least not yet. That is the nature of my research. So, if you'd like to begin, I suppose your friends can wait back at the ship. Sure. Sure, no problem. And when you think you're ready to put the stud in study, you know right where I'll be. <laughs> your very first trial, Skylander, is the trial of courage. One path leads to choppies. The other, spiders. Pick the path that leads to what you fear most. Alright, so. For this episode, I'll be mainly picking this and answering all of these truthfully and honestly. Well, at the same time, trying to... Well, at the same time, trying not to do a hard too too hard so in this case i'm gonna pick chompies um be, just because spiders are actually one of my favorite animals and i would love to have a tarantula fight me in the comments i don't care but i really love spiders although this does mean that i'll be fighting a chompy bot 9000 and so that does mean that i did get um uh a few other Skylanders beside me. Like, not many, but I have some at least. Okay, we got it. We got this in the bag. Uh huh. Whoa, that Chompy was huge. Ha! I love how that Chompy is just waiting for me to destroy the Root Runner. And, I, and there's another Chompy Bot 9000. Well, that does 50 damage. 
Okay, that did it. Oh snap, my health is low. Yeah, did you see that massive chompy? Holy moly. So I think what he's asking, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe what he means is do you, do you like stand out in a big crowd or are, do you just blend in in a large crowd or, 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 cor or correction, do you stand out in a um, small amount of people or versus do you blend in with a large crowd but um to be honest um I'd say I am just as well known as any average person I, I I'm not famous yet even though I have a lot of subscribers on my pet channel and a lot of followers on my Instagram so we're gonna go with little fish, even if that means seeing giant chompies. Oh, I just saw the story scroll. Yeah, there it is. Now that's what I call a giant chompy. No, thank you. I'm currently bu busy with filming this episode. I also can't believe that I'm on chapter 13. Just got three main levels to go. And then I think I might be able, I might squeeze in a few extra episodes and we'll do the um, adventure packs from Spyro's Adventure and we'll be done with this Let's Play series and then I'll have to come up with something that I can do next. Oh shoot. Oh, that was so close. I am much smaller compared to those jawbreakers. I haven't like I haven't taken a little like a little break in game like doing um, the arena battle mode since um, the Dark Spyro episode. <clears throat> to be honest, I think after we beat Chaos, um, I might do some of the like arena battle mode. Um, Heroic challenges, maybe um, battle mode, like with the multiplayer, and you fight uh, fight the other player. Um, I'll have to see. And of course, we're doing the adventure packs from Spyro's Adventure. Um, so that's Empire of Ice, Pirate Seas, Darklight Crypt, and um, Dragon's Peak. I think we'll end off the series by doing the adventure packs. There's a pretzel over there for us to heal. 
Oh, snap. My health is, like, really low. Oh, I'm dead. Well, at least now we can say hello to... Zap! Series 2 Zap, who also came with Hot Dog in the um, Scorpion Striker Catapult, which the item itself I do not currently own. I suppose I can show y'all his upgrades. So, we're 10 minutes into the video. He has the bottom path, which includes which improves, improves his sea slime abilities. And actually, fun fact about Zap, like Series 2 Zap, his Wow Pal, which is this. Um, it's called Fur Riley, and the reason being is because he um, used to have a fan uh, named Riley, who um, uh, Zap was his favorite character, and... Um, uh, Riley, I believe he was like four years old, but he died of a rare version of can a rare form of cancer Which is actually really unfortunate because he If I'm not mistaken, I don't believe he got a chance to play Skylanders Giants or any of the other five games, but and That was a great way for Activision to pay his respect And we shall eat the pretzel. Zap is also one of my personal favorite Skylanders. He is like within the top 10 of my favorite Spyro's Adventure characters. Alright, that took a while. So, um... Oh, okay, so this is either save a princess or catch the bad guy. So, um, I'm aware that Save the Princess has a rare hat, but in this playthrough, I'm not trying to complete this 100%, but I also don't have to get the hat, but at the same time, um, well, I mean, saving the damsel in distress means more than catching the bad guy, so... I guess I'll do the save the princess just because. Or no, I, I actually don't believe the um, rare hat is in there. Um, it's in another one, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's in another area. Because of course you could always just catch the bad guy again. This is all just one big metaphor, isn't it? Oh, wow. Whoa, that did 1,000 damage. That is insane. Okay, there she is. Oh, okay, yeah, th there isn't a hat in here. Oh, but there is a treasure chest, which I, can get, which I guess I can collect. Yeah, I believe it's another one, that uh, the umbrella hat, which is the hat that we would be trying to get. Um, uh, but it's in another one. Although I believe that to get there would involve... Um, uh, doing the princess one. All right, good. Wait, what the? The pumpkin is moving. What the heck? See? Speed. Um... To be honest, I really like speeding through levels sometimes, but at the same time, I, I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for my powerful Skylanders. So, um, I think I'm gonna go with power. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, okay, this is the one. This is the area where I get the hat. Oh, Spyro's Adventure Music. Oh, yep, I see the... I can just barely see the hat. Do-do. Do-do. This is the Perilous Pastures music, which is the second level in Spyro's Adventure. Do. Do. I have to switch over to a giant. All right. This is the perfect opportunity to use Crusher. Let me find him. Oh, there he is. I have two Crushers, but I'm using the one with the top path, which is arguably better than the bottom path. Even if the bottom path gives you cool armor. Hang on. Just gonna add him to the collection. And like I said, he has the top path. So it gives him the combo abilities, the new hammer, and the um, uh, upgraded smash ability. Like that. There's like saw blades in the ground. That's pretty cool. There's chompies. Oh, wait. Oh, eh. I wonder what's down here. Oh, Oryx Chop. Okay. Why not? Um, I'll take, oh, don't have enough cash. Um, I don't really have cash for anything I want to buy, so I guess I'll just roll on out of here, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay, I did not want to do that. I was going to collect the hat, but... Okay. Oh, well. Okay, okay. Yeah, me too. Because I know exactly what's next. What's next episode. So, when it comes to me, I love money, and I and it's hard for me to, um, I, I, I usually like saving cash, but at the same time, I'm a pretty smart guy, but, eh, well, I, I mean, this one gives you the hat, so I'll just go with the hat. And a bowling pin hat. I believe I gave that hat to one of my Warnados. Maybe my Light Core Warnado. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want to wear that hat. Whoa, we are done with the episode. I can believe it. I can't believe we're almost to the end of the uh, game. That's what I can't believe. <laughs> Boom! Not bad. And, um, now before, um, I go, I just want to remind you that there are multiple ways to complete this level, of course, because it has the option of going to one of two doors. And I'm not sure if I'll come back to this level to, like, collect everything. 
but in my main file I might on the other hand but um, I don't know about um, during this let's play series but yeah so like if you want to collect everything in this level that would mean um, coming back multiple times just to collect everything but yeah let's go back to the dread yacht and see Flynn There I am. Oh, it's the Archaeid Auto Gyro. Oh, okay. Next episode is my favorite level in the entire game. Um, I as much as I want to film the video today, I kind of think I should just um stick to uploading until. Well, I mean, I'll be filming this tomorrow if you're watching this on YouTube, or on Friday on the date I'm filming this because I'm filming this. Um, the Chaos's Castle, um, Aerial Attack, Drill X's Big Rig, and Molkin Mountain episodes all on Tuesday. But yeah, that is about it for this video. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, after you subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure to turn the notification bell so that way you won't miss any of my videos. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at vivaldi2nd.gaming64. Peace out, everyone.